to Plants vs Zombies and we've got a motley crew against us this time round as they're starting to ratchet up the difficulty a little bit we've got the ladder zombie who will uh, defeat our defences the pogo zombie who will bounce over our defences and the football zombie who has lots of speed and armour and can often be a complete pain so let's build up a team to deal with. So we'll take the basics, we'll take a tall nut because that will stop the pogo zombies and squash is a good and effective way of dealing with the football zombies but also I would like to try something a bit different so what we're going to do is we're going to take, where is it, there we go, the hypnoshroom and the coffee bean. So, if we see a football zombie running up against us, then we can quickly put down a hypnoshroom, wake it up, so it'll work, and then the football zombie will turn around and do our bidding in destroying all others. That's wrong. Okay, we have a rake, so we've got plenty of time to get some sunflowers down, which is always a good place to start. Should be able to get three down before we need to start placing anything offensive or even just mildly annoying. Okay, zombies are coming. Oh, come on, that, what that, there we go. Okay, actually, I think we'll get a fourth down. Yay! At this rate, I think we'll get them all down. Oh no, here we go. So we'll start off with you there. Take care of that zombie, Mr. Cabbage Pot. Oh, might as well get the last sunflower out. There we go. Don't have to worry about those anymore. All right. Another cabbage pot. There you go. That guy's taken care of now. And depending depending on what we get coming out, I'd like to. Just pretty much just put out a row of cabbage pots to start off with. Of course, that's going to make it slightly difficult. So what we'll do is we'll put you there and we'll put you there. That'll take care of that particular issue. Let's get a chemical cabbage pot out. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright, basic defences in place. Now it's just a case of getting more fun stuff out. I think we'll have two rows of cabbage pots this time. At the tall nuts here, and if we need to place a hypno shroom, we'll put it in front of them. Okay, so you're coming to say hello, you, so we'll put you there. Those guys will make short work of that cone head. There we go, almost done already. Uh, put you there. Come on, another 50. Oh, okay, we'll just put you there instead. Alright. We've got three big waves of zombies. First one's about to come. Not quite as well organised as I would like at this point. But I think we'll do alright. Okay, another cabbage fault there. you there. Let's see how well we do. I'd like to have my defences a little bit more well formed at this point, but you know, I think we'll survive. And we're not going to get any footballers, so chances are we're just going to be fine here. And 
Well, you only got to last very long. Let's see you hop over a squash. Yeah, I didn't think it would work for you. There we go. Okay, so we're building up towards the second large wave now. I think not going to be that much of a problem. Right. There we go. Just missed that bit of sunlight there, but never mind. Coin. Right. Haven't been getting that many coins. I don't think the RNG likes us at the moment. Okay, so let's get our last cabbage pole out. There we go. I'd like to do now is get some tool nuts in place. Might as well put one there, to be honest with you, haven't I? Right, let's see how well we do oh, against this pogo zombie. Okay, good enough. Not as well as I'd like, perhaps, but good enough. Right, just waiting for that bar to fill up, and we'll get another tool nut out. There, there we go. Right, you can go there. And in fact, to be totally honest with you, I think we can put out some coffee beans as well. Just, just fill up some holes in our defences here. So let's do that as well. So we'll have you there, you there, these are little Zeds. Keep, wake him up. And he's awake. Poor little fella. Okay, we can get one more tool nut out. See where we need it. Brains. Uh, let's put you there, I think. get one of you out as well. There we go. Not exactly the defences I would like, but they will do. Alright. A little bit compromised by a ladder there, but we survive. Get our tool nut back. Brilliant. Alright. Survived another wave. And I'm not going to bother replacing these hypno shrooms because, quite honestly, they will do. They will turn back the first zombie that gets to them. Uh, I'd rather it be a football zombie, but I can live without it being one. And in fact,. Get some more out, huh? Okay. Alright, building up to the final wave. And it looks like that Hitler Shroom's about to earn its money. There we go. Use a good Hitler Shroom. Use a good Hitler Shroom. Yes, you are. Alright. Uh, it's a shame that that's turned up so early. Because he's probably not going to intercept... Oh, okay, he's going to eat that one. That'll do me. Alright. Oh, the Hitler shrooms seem to be earning their key. Let's get a tool nut in there now. Just because we can. Coming up to the final wave now. And I think we'll just leave things as they are for a second. And let's see what's coming up against us. Okay, there's our... Oh, I don't need that. I need that. I need that. I need... Am I going to do this in time? No, I'm not. Okay, never mind. Oh, we really need it. 
I think we got this covered regardless. First we could do this. Squash. There we go. The simple solution is always the best one. can now you can play Zen garden mode tell you what I'm probably not going to do much with this this playthrough because we're almost finished and I'm not going to go into the second run around uh, the Zen garden mode is a way of making money let me just show you <laughs> hey check it out you've had a war in honor of this occasion I present you your very real Zen garden I'll even start you off with a couple of sprouts. Both of the four sides, and they reward you nicely. Heaven. Okay, now, basically, what we can do here is we can grow plants for fun and profit. And if we just water our plants like this, they give us a little coin. And eventually, if we do this long enough, they'll grow up. Let's just see how long this takes. There we go. Okay, now, this one needs fertilizer to grow, so we can go to the shop. And now, if we go in here, I'll give you some fertilizer. Okay, now, we've got uh, a number of more upgrades. We can buy some plants in here. Okay, and so we can buy fertilizer, we can buy um, a music player, we can buy a bug spray, and this glove that allows us to move around. Now that's quite cheap, so we're going to grab that, and we'll grab some more fertilizer. Um, these things are needed to... Uh, oh, well, let me just start my... We'll just show you. Let's just do it that way. Okay, right. Now, I've got the glove, so I can pick this guy up and I can put him down there. That's easier to deal with. So, now we can put some fertilizer down. You see our plant grows to the next stage. Okay, and... Basically, what can we can do here is we can fill this up with plants, get them all to grow up to, uh, to mature size, and then just basically just sit here farming coins. In fact, you can get a little snail which will do it for you. And if you need money to to buy, uh, uh, if you need buy, you know, some some advancement, some from the shop, or anything like this, this is just a good way to grind and get results. But I think we're done with that for now. Okay, so I think we'll leave the announcement for Crazy Dave till next time. So until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Plants vs Zombies. Thank you. And good night.